If somebody really is looking to improve their insulin resistance and they want to take control of their diabetes, how realistic is it that they would be able to do that using the methods that you guys have at Mastering Diabetes where they could get off of the medicine? They're not going to be dependent on uh, insulin injections anymore. How realistic is it to think that, man, you know, with these diet and lifestyle changes, you can see some significant improvements and maybe get off all of your medications altogether? Together. Yeah, great question. So if you're living with pre-diabetes, your chances of actually reversing pre-diabetes is almost 100%. If you were to adopt not only a plant-based diet, but what we recommend is a low-fat plant-based whole food diet, which is very similar to what Dr. Neil Barnard also recommends. So again, pre-diabetes, your chances are very, very high. Now, if you're living with type 2 diabetes, your chances go down just by a little bit. Your chances of go down to somewhere between call it 80 and 85%, maybe a little bit higher. Nobody knows the answer to that question. And the reason that it's a little bit, uh, the numbers are just a little bit uh, smaller than they are in the type in the pre-diabetes population is because some people who are living with type two diabetes have beta cell burnout or how are experiencing beta cell burnout, which effectively means that the beta cells in their pancreas are no longer capable of secreting a sufficient amount of insulin. The way that you would know that is you go get a test called a C-peptide test. You can go to your doctor, you can get the C-peptide test at a routine you know, laboratory like a Quest Diagnostics, and they will tell you what your number is. Your, your, your C-peptide sort of is either in the low category, the medium category, or the high category. If you're in the low category, what that means is the chances of you reversing type 2 diabetes using only your diet is not very high. You can definitely do it, and I still would actually recommend it, but insulin injections may be in your future. If you're medium or high, then the chances of you reversing type 2 diabetes using only your diet are very good. And so just like Philip, uh, I would recommend definitely uh, going down that path and reducing your total fat content, uh, eating as many plant foods as possible, and trying to stay away from as many processed foods uh, at the same time. That is a phenomenally powerful system. And not only can it lower your blood glucose, it can also lower your cholesterol, lower your blood pressure. It can improve your gut health as Dr. Wolbosa, what's a good friend of ours, will also tell you. And it can transform so many different things about your overall metabolic health. Absolutely. And, and even if you're not able to fully reverse diabetes, I mean, is it pretty much a foregone conclusion that almost universally across the board, if you apply these methods, you start eating that plant-based diet, you can definitely still see some improvement, even if you don't quite get to the point where you're able to come off of everything. Yeah, exactly right. You will, you will without a shadow of a doubt, see a significant collection of symptoms improving or a significant collection of of uh, improvements in your overall health. You know it better than anybody, Chuck. When you eat a whole food plant-based diet, uh, weight loss becomes much simpler and attaining your ideal body weight becomes possible for the first time in many years. And staying at your ideal body weight becomes possible for the first time in many years. So. That's something that the majority of the population living with diabetes is also looking for, and it can be a very, very simple way to get there.